baby daddy, your sister, and your cousin I'm doing. And you have me too. Hi y'all living fam. It is Thursday up in this motherfucker. Your girl is officially seven months prego. It is exactly 28 weeks today. Y'all know every Thursday is my weekly anniversary. Okay, so I'm kind of hyped about that shit. Hyped and a little nervous. Not gonna sit here and lie to y'all at all. Sorry, everything's out of focus. There's a lot for this camera to focus on behind me. But anyway, I'm over here at Lowe's, my second home at this point with all the stuff we're having done in the house. And yeah, your girl is over here um, getting some paint because the paint that she had originally selected the other night that you guys saw, it's probably the last vlog that you saw us in, isn't the right shade. It's just entirely too dark. So um, let me show you what I ended up getting because I didn't have a chance to really show you yesterday. And honestly, it's because I was sick and I was tired. It was late at night when we came here. Let me see if I can find it. Uh, let me see if, if I find it, then I'll show you guys exactly what we're looking at. You'll see it on the walls too, but here it is. And hopefully it comes up or shows up okay on the camera. Probably won't, but that was a good burp, sorry. Anyway, so these are the kind of shades we're going for for the bedroom, kind of the gray tones. The middle one is what we're going for, so this middle one right here. We originally had picked up this one the other night. Way too dark, it's damn near black. And because the room is, even though it's vaulted ceilings and all that, the room is still really, really pretty small, you know, with the furniture being put in it. We're not gonna put all the furniture, the same furniture back in, I don't think. I think we're gonna leave some pieces out to leave for, you know, some room for the kiddos and anything else we wanna put in there, decorative. Um, but we're gonna do the second shade. I don't wanna go too too light on the gray because I thought about going with the first one. So here, we're the middle one. It's called Crucible. And it's a Valspar paint. Typically we're, we're Burr people, B-E-H-R, because we typically get our paint from Home Depot. But this time we're going for a different paint and we're using the reserve um which is like i guess a higher grade type of that paint but anyway um the cool thing is for any of you guys y'all that are dealing with this or having to do this or going to plan to do this in the future i was not aware that you could exchange your paint i was a little nervous that they weren't gonna allow me to because i'm not gonna lie this shit is not cheap two gallons is like 41 dollars and some change a piece per gallon and um yeah so that's why we're beer people. We always go to beer, or whatever they want to call that shit. But um, the colors that we wanted were, you know, some of the colors we want to do in the house are here. So we chose this, but I was able to exchange the original paints we got last night to get this new set today, which is great because I was told otherwise. So don't ever let anybody say you can't exchange something. Here's something else. So James and Tim were over yesterday, which we didn't vlog yesterday because I was still not feeling very good. I woke up very, 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 very shitty feeling, okay? And um, anyway, just there was just way too much going on. <sighs> that being said, James and Tim did come over yesterday. They came and they were working on the bathroom. Well, in working on the bathroom, they'd already put the base in and they discovered that when they had put the base in, it was cracked. Somehow or another, it was cracked. It wasn't them who cracked it. Um, it was already cracked already, but they didn't notice it until it was already installed. And then he was like, oh shit. He was like, what are we gonna do? Do you, you know, because I don't know that they're gonna take it back, being that it was damaged already, but it's already been opened out the box and we don't have the box and blah, blah, blah. Well, anyway, I was like, look, we're gonna be optimistic about this and we're just gonna see if they'll exchange it. I'm gonna call. I'm gonna let them know what's going on. The fact that we didn't notice the crack until after it was out the box and we pitched the box and then we have the receipt. I mean, that's all we can do is be honest about the shit. Anyway, so um, needless to say, long story short, it was able to be exchanged with no problem. I called, I was like, look, look, I played the Prego card like a motherfucker. I was like, hey, I had my contractors come out and they got a base for the shower. We're doing renovations in my house and it wasn't discovered that the base was was damaged until it was damn near in and then they were like wait a minute there's a crack in the base can we exchange it they had no problem with it once i kind of told them i'm like i don't want to bring this thing in there with my pregnant ass and find out i can't exchange it they were like you're fine bring the receipt you don't need the box bring the receipt we'll do an even exchange and keep it moving perfect play the little prego card a little bit yeah just it's just last trimester and blah, blah, blah. Works fine, whatever you gotta do, shit. By any means necessary, you feel me? Anyway, so 
James and Tim will be over working today. I'm gonna go work out with Jess today. I haven't been to see her in weeks because we've had something going on, whether it's a doctor's appointment or something going on every freaking Thursday, every week, every whatever. Um, so I'm going today to see her, work out with her for a little bit, and uh, catch up with her because we haven't caught up in so long, outside of the usual, you know, the shower and all that kind of stuff. And then we're gonna see what the rest of the day brings. I'm a little nervous, I'm a little stressed. We have a lot going on, we have a lot to finish, all of which has to be finished, or most of has to be finished before these babies come. Lord knows when the baby's gonna be here. We're heading into uh, we're heading into October. It's today, the 29th of September. We're a day shy of October. These babies will probably be here in November. I'm a little freaked, but we're gonna make this work, right? I'm just gonna like I called Juice this morning, like, oh my god, we have so much to do. How are we gonna get all this done? Oh my god, oh my god. He was like, Sandy, we're gonna be fine. I'm like, okay. At the end, whatever happens, he's just gonna have to finish off, and that's it. But as long as I can move, as long as I can get things done, we're gonna get them done. So, I'm quite happy I'm able to get these paints. And then we're gonna get our workout on, get a little sweat on, and then run a couple errands. I gotta drop this stuff off back at the cribbo and let the guys in, and then I'm gonna head out to meet up with Jess. Got my coffee for the day. I'm a bacon Gouda, so that I, you know, eat that on the go. So we're good. Anyway, all right, done talking your ear off. Moving on to the next adventure. Okay, good news. If y'all recall a few days ago when I came here with James, we were having trouble finding the uh, the glass trim that we're gonna be using in our bathroom. Super fancy smanchy, okay? We're trying to really go hard in the paint with the look of this master bath. And uh, it turned out I would have had to go to a completely different location for those items. Still might have to, I'm gonna see how many sheets of this shit I need. However, they just restocked it. Somebody told me to come and take a look and see if they restocked it. And since they have, I'm gonna go ahead and get them. But anyway, if you guys wanna see what it looks like, let me show y'all. Although it's not gonna do it much justice looking at it from inside the plastic. But see how amazing and gorgeous this is? Look at that. It is everything, you guys. Everything. And it's got travertine pieces in it, it's got some glass pieces in it, and it's also got some of this brushed silver that we're gonna have throughout the bathroom as well. And this is gonna be a good portion of the bathroom. It's not gonna be like a little tiny strip like you see in a lot of bathrooms. We're really gonna make it like, it's gonna look crazy and amazing all at the same damn time. So I found them, I'm happy. I was able to exchange the paint so I didn't have to come out of pocket for that because I really was thinking I was gonna have to come out of pocket again because those reserve paints ain't no damn joke. So we're gonna see how many of these they have here and if they have them all, I'm gonna get them all so they're ready for James when it's time for him to add things. these things. We already bought the tile. Um, I'm all about getting things done. <laughs> I don't know if y'all can tell. I'm all about just buying things like set it forget it like be done like here it is you have it leave me alone type of shit that's me all day air day anyway i need both hands yo 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 we made it we're late but we made it y'all i had to go get the stuff buy the stuff and then unload my car so that the materials are there for the guys when they arrive at my house and then warm up my coffee or whatever and come over here to meet up with Jess life's a little crazy but it's keeping me active and we kind of like it a little bit I work better under pressure you know what I mean god I haven't been here in so long I feel like it's been forever even though we've been going to the gym a little bit here and there because of how insane these last couple weeks have been. I haven't been here in a while, so it feels good to be back on the old stomping grounds. And honestly, I'm not gonna lie, it feels good to be seven months prego and still able to do it so far. <sighs> Let's go. From that angle, you can't even tell you're pregnant. Seven. <laughs> can you and, tell from there? and then we come this way. No, you can't tell at all. <laughs> Eight. And now, the babies. 
Yeah, then how's your back bend? They're totally asleep right now. 12, aww. I'm gonna go to sleep and it's time for me to go to bed. It's cause you're moving around and it lulls them to sleep and the, yeah. 14. Five more. Four. Is that a good weight? Oh, yeah. Okay. Three. Two. And done. I know. It's hard. Just think of shooting your shoulder blades down into your back pocket. So full stretch, shoulder blades down, and then curl. There you go. Guns of Steel. <laughs> Commentary is so good. <laughs> like, seriously, until I pee in down, you cannot tell you're pregnant. <laughs> it's awesome. Two, how's that weight? Three. Four. Five. Six, good. Seven. Eight, nine, good. Ten, nine, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, and fifteen. <laughs> Okay, so you're gonna be mad. Just be mad, damn it. I just wanna have a reaction real quick. So I actually got done working out and did an additional bit of cardio at the end, as you guys probably already saw. Got that all done, okay? And met up with James. I had to meet him up because it turns out that the second base, the second shower base that he got from Lowe's was cracked even worse than the first one. So, and it was the last one that they had left. So we had to meet up and he had to go and exchange the motherfucker. So he's actually having to go to another location to see if he can find that same exact base again, not cracked. So this is gonna be the third base we would've gotten for the shower, okay? Anyway, met with him, had to give him some, you know, stuff and take care of all that shit, right? And of course, his jokeful ass is like, yeah, that crazy ass color y'all put on the walls, that blue shit y'all put on the walls. I already showed you what color we were gonna put on the walls, right? And then I switched it because the other color was way too dark and it would look damn near jet black in the room. So anyway, he was fucking with us, talking about some, uh, that blue ass blue color that you have on your walls now. I didn't know he put, he uh, painted the walls of my bedroom. Y'all, it looks phenomenal. Like, literally, because I just walked in the door like freaked, like fuck. Juice was like, text me a picture of the room. We got to make sure it's not blue. Because he was like, man, this shit looks blue as fuck. He was just fucking with us. But he was like, no, nah, that's cool. I would, tell you if, I would tell you if it looked like shit. Because you know, that's the reason why we fuck with James. Because he'll just let us know. Like, he's just a design guy. You know what I'm saying? So anyway, um, but he was fucking with us. So it kind of had me scared. So I came home like, fuck. I'm curious to see how this paint looks. And Juice is like, text me as soon as you get home, text me a picture of the room. And I was like, bet. So I walked in, I walked in the bedroom and it looks fucking phenomenal. Like it looks like a completely different house. Not only is the color amazing on the walls, but y'all, we added uh, baseboards to our room. We switched out the baseboards from the old baseboards to new, um, a newer baseboard. <laughs> Um, in addition to the fact that we added window treatments, um, the window treatments around our window that make that pop that we are painting white and it's going to be a stark ultra white. So it just makes everything pop. Ceilings are going to be white. We're going to, ch we changed the light fixture. We have to go pick that up actually probably tonight. Um, but y'all, it looks amazing. My nose is restuffed again, so I've got to blow my nose. But I called you, so I was like, uh, I am not texting you a picture. You just need to come and react to it. So I'm going to wait and see what he says when he gets home and see what his reaction is. That's because the picture's not going to do it any kind of justice because the paint looks phenomenal. Like, we just have wanted something different in that room for a very, very, very long time. So anyway, it's gorgeous. I just had to have that reaction real quick. But yeah. Anyway, James and Tim are going to be back out tomorrow. More contract work being done. More shit to deal with. 
and uh, we're just gonna deal with it. We're gonna get through all this crap. I'm, I'm not gonna lie, before I went to the gym, I was fucking, I was, I'm freaked. I mean, yesterday, freaked. I just, I'm freaked, because even though I could have my twins at 37 weeks and I'm still only 28 today. So I've got time, but again, they could come at 35. They can come at 33, they can come, not that I'm wishing them to come that early, but they can come whenever. Twins just do whatever, the, babies do whatever the fuck they wanna do. So, and I don't wanna be 37 weeks still trying to get last minute things. And I know that could very much happen, but again, so, we just have so many things to do. We're gonna get it done, we're gonna get it done. We're gonna figure it out. I just have to stop freaking out. It's not stressing me though. I'm not, the one thing that I have made it a point to make sure of is one of two things. One is I told myself when I got prego, I was going to make sure that I stayed active until the doctor tells me otherwise. So I was gonna stay active, I was gonna be in the gym, I was gonna work out and do what I needed to do to stay as healthy and as sane as possible, okay? And be as healthy of a pregnant woman as I possibly could. The other was not to allow things to stress me out too much because it will affect my kids. I mean, at the end of the day, stress does not help pregnancy. You know what I mean? It doesn't help blood pressure. It doesn't help. And there's so many complications that can come from high blood pressure and all of those things that can be affected. Um, so it's not about just me. It's about me and these two kids. So anyway, I told myself, I was like, no matter what's going on, no matter how, because we do work better under pressure. We do. And I'm one of them that really does work better under pressure. It's just, we have so much going on and so much to do. We have to fit it all in a very few short weeks. We'll figure it out. But I'm not gonna allow it to stress me. So me talking to you right now is me just kind of like getting it out. Am I stressed about it? No, like I'm not losing sleep over it. I lose sleep anyway because I'm pregnant and I'm uncomfortable and it doesn't feel good to sleep and I'm hurting and in pain when I go to bed. But it's not because of stress because I just can't let stuff like that, I can't. It affects these little these little ones and they don't deserve that so if we're just gonna breathe well out of our throat because we can't breathe through our nose I'm gonna take a shower I'm gonna have something to eat I have work to do I have a deadline today so I'm gonna get that fucking thing finished and then we're gonna chill for a little bit but I'm gonna get some work done so let's do that what's up y'all okay I had it in my right mind to actually bring the tripod so that I wouldn't have to hold y'all while I talk to y'all as I sit here. Once again, it's stir crazy. By myself. And just relax. I need to get the hell out of the house. Um, y'all know I'm still sick. I think the last I talked to y'all was me telling y'all that I had just seen the master bedroom walls and the color on the walls and I was waiting for Juice to come home so that he could check it out and see if he loved it. When he got home, I started to feel like crap. So that's why you didn't see me after that. Um, I sound a little bit better today, but it's because I've been taking anything and everything that I possibly can. I even called the doctor today to see if there was anything that he may be able to prescribe me. Because I was just like, I just don't want to continue to be sick. It's going on two weeks. I think I've been sick for 12 days straight. And the one thing I don't want it to do is to turn into a flu. It's the last thing we wanted to, you know, to do. Long story short, um, uh, they basically were like, look, we've, you know, since we've already given you um, medication, we're really gonna just gonna probably let this one right out. Here's some recommendations of some of the better drugs that you can take, that you're able to take, that are over the counter, that may or may not work. I've been taking them anyway. I already knew those drugs. I had them drugs, been taking those drugs. So I'm just praying that this goes away soon because it is fucking up every bit of my life. Anyway. The one good thing is right now I can breathe because I've been doing all kinds of stuff, draining my nose and everything. And I'm really close to getting a humidifier. I'm gonna need one probably for the baby's room anyway, but for my nose and just generally for juice with the allergies and everything like that and with the weather change, I'm like, I might just go swing by and grab, I need to spit on y'all, grab a humidifier. I'm gonna be having some soup and stir crazy just to help with the nose and just kind of just moose a little bit. I'm over here reading my um, my lovely book on uh, what to do when you're having to. You guys know I'm, I've been trying to finish that book up because it's going into like, you know, what to expect the day of labor and da 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 da. I mean, what you can expect to a certain extent because no one's labor is the same. Got a whole bunch of gossip mags over here that I just have here. My iPad, as I use, or iPad, as I usually do, my phone and all that stuff. So I'm gonna do some work-related shit, but I just need to get away from the house. James and Tim have been over there already today, and they've already left for the day. It's actually later in the afternoon. 
and I just I'm tired of seeing the four walls of my family room my kitchen and my office because I'm limited to those areas simply because of the fact that the guys have already torn down three of the other rooms in the upstairs so like I have to take a shower and you know in different areas of the house my clothes are packed I'm just I feel cramped in a, in a space in a certain amount of space that I'm able to kind of do anything in with my big old belly and my big old self because everything else is shut the fuck down you know what I'm saying so that in addition to the fact that I'm overwhelmed I'm trying to figure this whole thing out and there truly isn't anything to figure out for real because I've got a little bit more time than I in my head feel like I do but there's always that level of uncertainty there that you're not sure of like anything can happen and it's true anything can happen I mean my doctors warned me about it everyone knows that anything can happen that's with any pregnancy not just twins but anyway I'll have to give you guys an update on pregnancy so far because there are some new some new developments that I will tell you guys about some changes from a physical perspective that I will tell you guys about in my pregnancy update my next one I'll probably do it this coming week when I start to feel a little bit better. That's why you haven't seen me on my other channel, The Social Light Life, simply because of this. It's hard to, and then there's guys in my house with drills, and, you know, all kinds of shit, you know, fucking with tile and stuff. So it's just background noise that I'll have to figure out a way to edit out all while feeling sick, all while trying to shoot a video. And keep in mind, my makeup area is completely broken down. Anyway. I'm just taking a breather, y'all. I just want to get out of the house, you know? And so that's what I'm doing, chilling. Here's my thing. I'm reading this book, right? And it says to have your birthing plan ready. Do you know all this time that I've been pregnant, I never know what a birthing plan is? Now, keep in mind, I'm actually gonna look it up, so by the time you guys see this video, I will know what it is. I'm assuming it's something having to do with what I want to do, if I want to have, I don't know, I don't know. Because this, the part I'm reading is about C-sections, if you end up having a scheduled C-section. So I imagine it's not deciding whether you want a C-section or do a natural or epidural or whatever. I'm assuming it's something along that, that line, figuring out whether you want an epidural, whether you want to do it naturally. Who you want in the room, maybe? I'm going to look it up because I don't have a birthing plan to the first. Why? Because I'm having twins. Two, because I don't want to get my heart set on something and then come to find out that that is not what's happening. Because in life, shit happens and with pregnancy everyone's experience is different and the last thing I'm gonna do is get my hopes up thinking that I'm gonna have this amazing certain way type labor delivery type situation that ends up being the complete polar opposite of what I expected it to be so I haven't put my hat on anything I haven't hung my hat on Jack so I'm gonna look it up and see what it is but a lot of people that's all I've been seeing on these websites the app that I have on my phone the book it's like have your birthing plan ready I don't know if that's a good idea for me to have a birthing plan unless I'm just not thinking about it the way I should or I'm thinking about it incorrectly so anyway I'm gonna look that up we had one pop in bug y'all I ordered two sushi rolls I normally do and I'm just gonna chill just I've been eating salads for the last few days we take off, took off a couple days from vlogging because I have to still catch up on the vlogs I've been behind on so we've been just eating salads and you know working out and all that shit so anyway let me get back to my soup and my book and i'll check back in with y'all <laughs> therapeutic just to get out for a little bit because like I said my house is in complete and utter chaos yes I know when the twins are here it's gonna be the same damn thing but hold up just a minute I just dropped a book do I pick up the book go to the car put the shit in the car and then come back and pick up the book or do I pick up the book now the shit you gotta do when you got a big old belly in front it's just gonna go in the car first and then I'll pick up the damn book hold up so we opted to uh, put this in the car and then pick up the book. You just can't do everything all at once. Anyway, yeah. Found out with what 
figuring out a whole birth plan is. I did look it up and I found out what it is. Of course, Google it if you want to check it out for yourself. But it's basically just trying to basically what I said, figure out um, ideally, I guess, what you would like to happen even though you can't really 100% guarantee that what you plan or you hope happens is gonna actually happen because every labor and delivery situation is completely different. Um, and uh, with twins, same damn thing. Um, because twins can come at any time, and most twins, most of the time, come early. So, um, I looked it up, and I have a better idea. I don't know that there is really anything I can plan. I, n I'm not really comfortable with planning, I guess, what my birthing plan will be, because I really don't know what it's gonna be. As I get closer, and as I start going in for more checkups and stuff, and they have, um, more of an idea of when they think I'm going to deliver or you know if I'm dilating or any of that type of thing I'm assuming that will be when I make some of those other decisions the only decision I really think that at this point I want to make and I'm gonna look further into some of the other things that are a part of the birthing plan and then of course I start classes next week um, I do my labor and delivery class I start that next week or this coming week too in the next few days actually so um, I'll learn a lot more about all that stuff with these classes, which is why I signed up to take the classes with Juice. But um, the only thing that I really want to make sure of is that people know who I want in the room with me. And um, of course, I want to triple and quadruple check that they'll let us record because I definitely want to record, you know, things that go on um, above the curtain <laughs> um, for labor and delivery. And then... Um, and of course I want drugs. That's as far as I know. Anything else, I don't know that, I mean, I can't sit here and say, well, I want a C-section. I want to, none of those things are things I can, I guess, I'm not gonna assume I'm gonna deliver either way. I'm just kinda gonna go with the flow. That's gonna help me stay sane. You know what I mean? Um, I don't really know if I have a preference between the two, um, whether I prefer to have a C-section or I prefer to have the twins vaginally I know that I've been asked that a lot which is crazy I I didn't think I'd be asked that as much but I've been asked that a lot whether I want to have them vaginally or have a c-section I don't know that I have much of a choice I know there's some people that do schedule c-sections um, I know if you've had a c-section previous that you more than likely will have another c-section um, on your next child or whatever but being that this is my first I really don't know and personally I don't know I think there's not negatives to both, but uh, I mean, there's benefits and and then there's also things you may not like about both options. So my thing is, is I just want to make sure my kids come out okay. So whatever's going to get my kids coming out okay and healthy and whatever's going to be best for them is what I would rather do. So yeah, I don't know. This is going to be interesting. As I get closer and closer to week 30 I'm a little freaked you guys know my fears of labor and delivery so I think I'm just I don't know I'm not scared of being a mom that's the thing that I'm not as um, nervous about I think it's gonna be crazy the first few months that we have them especially the first few weeks when they're home um, especially because you have two at one time you're gonna be feeding two at one time and dealing with two at one time and they may or may not be on different schedules at different times of the day or night. I mean, it's going to be a lot. I'm okay with that. That's not the part that I'm most nervous about. It is the labor and delivery. That's the part I'm the scaredest of. Is that a word? I hope I said that right. I don't know what the fuck I just said. Anyway. I don't mean to talk your ear off. I always talk y'all's ear off. Y'all are used to that shit by now. But hey, at least it's real. It's raw, it's real. And I'm telling y'all what's going down in my head as I think the shit. Um, anyway, yeah, y'all. I am going to uh, get going. I'm going to run. Oh, I am going to go to Whole Foods. Because I do want to get some fruits and veggies. I ran out and I think that might, you know, I need to get some nutrients in my system. Some healthy nutrients. Um, these are the little bullshit ass magazines I was reading in touch and people magazine and blah 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 can you believe about Brad and Angela 
Evangelina Jolie, whatever her name is. Anyway, and it's supposed to be a messy little divorce. Anyway, okay. I am gonna go. We're gonna get some veggies, some fruit. I got some work to do. I still haven't hit, hit my, I, have, I had two deadlines today, two work deadlines. One of which I did, the other of which I have to finish and send out this evening. So I'm gonna try to get it done and then I'm gonna get some rest. So let's go. How are you? Good, how are you? What's up, y'all? Fast forward about uh, four hours later. Four? Five and a half hours later. Oh my gosh, y'all. If you see fuzzies on my face, there's fuzzies in my towel. I took another shower. Y'all know I'm a shower freak. Especially now that you're prego. I will go into more detail about that in my pregnancy update this coming week. Um, but yeah, let me turn the light on. <clears throat> Ouch. That didn't fucking help. Anyway. Anyway. Um, since... Your girl got back home from Stir Crazy. I actually went to my box to go pick up some boxes. And um, I had a couple other stops to make. I ended up going to Whole Foods, as you guys saw. Grabbed my stuff and then came back here. And I don't know if I mentioned, I think I did mention that I had a client deadline today. Or, you know, deadline today. And um, I went ahead and worked on that. That shit took me about four and a half hours to get done. Um, because I was just trying to figure out a way to edit it properly and so that took forever in a day gone day to get done um so i'm literally right now at 9 38 just getting this bad boy finalized and finished it finally did what i wanted it to do thank god um <clears throat> ironically enough um juice had to work late today too so he had to go help out with a whole bunch of stuff and so after having left work late, he went to get his hair cut, and y'all know his barber takes forever and always has a line out the dough. Y'all know they don't do appointments, so it took forever for him to get done, but it wouldn't have made any difference because I would have been no good when he got here if he got here at his normal time anyway because I was working. And I'm just now finishing. I'm not even really finished. I need to press send on this email, but um, I need to finalize this thing first and then send it off. But anyway... <clears throat> I'm exhausted. Juice is exhausted. So he's picking up takeout, which is what I was totally avoiding. I didn't want to do that. But both him and I are exhausted. Literally pooped. He worked. I worked. I'm overwhelmed. He's overwhelmed. We're just going to chill tonight. So he's bringing home some Outback. We're going to bitch out a little bit. And just start all over again tomorrow. So anyway, I'll let him get home so he can say what's up to y'all. But I thought I'd pop in and say hello. I'm gonna finish up this thing so my, I can actually get this out at a reasonable time frame and uh, go lay down and wait for Juice to come. What's up, y'all? All right, y'all, look. I wanna make sure that you had a chance to say hello to Juice What up, y'all? <laughs> you had a long, long day. day <laughs> I was about to say, long day for both of us. But I'm here eating <clears throat> some Outback and uh, I'm about to chill, y'all. We're about to catch up with some chills right quick and um hell get about 12 hours of sleep tonight last night we stayed up stayed up a little bit too late see my face yeah don't, don't touch that plate the microwave too i'm not going to babe i, I get it thanks don't babe. Touch it. okay Please. yeah not happening 12 hours i don't even know you what the fuck that is around? i don't know. I feel like I'm feeling better, but every time I think I'm feeling better, then I sit down. Once I get to laying down, that's when the congestion starts to, and it gets worse, you know. Um, this morning I felt like crap though, so. Did I end up telling you guys that I did oh, talk man. to the doctor? I did tell you that I talked to the doctor. You your damn potato. Yeah, my potato be doing it. I got a loaded baked potato and a filet. Yeah. Look. Melt your potato. Look at that. Hey, that's sweet. Look at that, y'all. That's, that's a little bit too well done, ain't it? I love it. I love it like that. You could have you put too much cheese on this. I put too much. Yeah. I like my loader to be loaded. Let me get you a drink and uh, yeah, you'll be all squared away. Yes. Right? Yes. I can't <laughs> wait to eat. 
These babies are kicking. I love you. Yeah. You gotta get, hey, she gotta get off her feet, y'all. Her, oh my her God. ankles are swollen now. Like, oh my God, let me show you, let me show you. They're Bam Bams. I, I call them Bam Bams now. Yeah, one of them is swollen more than another one. Let me show, let me show you, let me see if I can do it. Hold on. Can you guys see, is it upside down for y'all? It might be. But I don't know if you guys can tell. Hold on, let me turn it this way. Without dropping the camera, because you know I don't have the cord on. There it is, boom. Hold on, let me move my cord to my robe. Y'all see how swollen my feet are? Like, my feet are never this, my feet are skinny, they're not cute. But they're, I mean, they're, I mean, this is not a joke. Oh, it's in the freezer, honey, in the freezer. Freezer. My blood orange? Yeah. So yeah, look at that, y'all. And this leg, my left leg is more swollen than the other. Anyway, it's um, bad. So, and it's been bad like that for the last, oh God. Probably two weeks since the shower is when I've really noticed it. So anyway, <clears throat> welcome to third trimester. <laughs> yeah. Anyway, let me go ahead and let y'all go. Battery just started flashing. Perfect timing. Oh, 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 oh. Here, Damn! You mean you been checking this thing up? No, but you might have. No. Nah. Blood orange Italian soda. It's so good from Blood Whole Foods, orange, baby. Some from Whole Foods. It's good. Blood. Oh. So you guys were asking me about the fish dinner that I made for Juicy the other day, the crab cakes, the fish, um, and a couple of y'all asked actually about this, the Cajun sauce that we used for the fish, as well as the lemon dill tartar. tartar. It's in the fish section of Whole Foods. Both of them are, okay? Because I know I got a couple of questions about that. I just saw them when I was editing my last video and saw them and I thought, let me go ahead and make mention of that since a couple of you guys asked about that. But yeah, that whole dinner was pretty much Whole Foods. The crab cakes, the cod, the sauces we use on the side, the Caesar salad, all from Whole Foods. I've actually, as you can, oh, I had bags up here. Turn into Whole Foods, Johnny. No, but you know, you just know, I just, my fruit has to be from there. Anything fruit, veggie for the most part, yeah, I've been admit, just trying to buy from there. I will admit, I do know there's a big difference with the fruit from Whole Foods. Oh my right? God. It's night and day. I, it's expensive as hell. Yeah. And I always buy the kind that's pre-cut, so it's more expensive. You can get the kind that you can cut up yourself and what? No, but don't shake it up too much, otherwise that's the best way to just the best way to drink it. Anyway, it won't pour if if I don't shake it up. Whatever. Shit's frozen, man. Anyway, y'all, we're gonna let y'all go. Battery's gonna die on us in like two seconds. And uh, anyway, if you guys are watching for the very first time. Of course, subscribe, then thumbs up the video. Either way, thumbs up the video while you're just sitting here looking at us and our weirdo, crazy looking, tired looking butts. And yeah, thumbs up the video. We love, love, love y'all. Thank y'all for supporting us. Of course, what's up to all the old heads? He's over here fiddling with the. Say goodnight. Say goodnight, Juice. All right, John, I'm gonna keep pouring this frozen ass drink and uh, we're gonna holler at y'all, man. <laughs> love y'all. Hopefully. I'll feel better tomorrow and he'll get some rest uh, gonna, and I'll try to get rest. Tomorrow, you're gonna sleep tonight, so. <sighs> Let's pray. Yeah. Yeah. Anyway, love y'all. Peace. <laughs>